The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. The younger man, big masmid, to learn Yehim of Laila, gauged his daughter, Bishar Tevu Mutzlachas, and he obligated himself to give $30,000 for the absolute necessities. When his wife heard the number, she said, where, where are you dreaming about to give this kind of money? He said, I don't know. But Hashem will help. She saw his peace and generally in this situation the wife doesn't say well if you're at peace I'll be at peace now usually what happens is the wife has a cow last night I was on the phone for almost an hour with a couple whose husband is calm the guy works like a sus wakes up every morning at 5 o'clock leaves his house at 5.30 and he comes home who knows when and his wife was just ragging on him he says, no, Achrayas, he's taking it easy. He's calm. I said, the guy sounds like an Ebed Kanani to me. And then he has a job at night, too. She says, get another job. I said, when do you, when do you, what, what kind of, are you out of your mind? And the husband said, no, sweetie, don't worry about it. I'm trying my best. And, oh, you, you never took Achrayas, this and that. But he also, the wife thought that it wasn't a responsible thing to do. And... Did her, he, she asked him, do you know how much $30,000 is? You know, you know how hard it is to get those kind of money? How are you going to pay it back if you borrow it? The kids, uh, the lady was peeved. So what do they do in such cases? They turned to the Rabbanim. So she went to the Rebbetz and Eliashev. And she told her, she told her, 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 her daigus. And... She, Rabbi Sinatra said, you know what? Ask my husband. Ask him, Rabbi Yashua himself. So her first shayla was, Rabbi Yashua asked them, do they have any items in their rishos of any value? Like real estate or gold, silver, something like that. Lady said, we have clum, garnished. No. So, Abel Yashem said, tell your husband to come here to clarify the matter. So, the young man came. husband came to Abel Yashem. And he asked the young man, Abel Yashem asked him, on, on what, what did you rely on when you signed it? She so said, what do you mean? A father is chayef to marry his daughter. But, I said, you're right, but on what smach? You signed an IOU of 30 grand. So the guy said, if HaKadosh Baruch Hu was mechai of me to marry off my daughter, I'm sure he's going to help me get the amount of money. <clears throat> so Yashu said, Hashem is definitely going to be mam to you the money. But you have to do a shtadlis. Go and collect and raise this money. No, no, the guy said. HaKadosh Baruch Hu was first mitzvah for me to learn Torah. And that's what I do. Hashem's not going to punish me if I don't go around collecting money. No, he said, maybe ask for a, maybe get a letter from a couple of Rabbanim Chashuvim and They'll write to you that you're a needy person, they'll vouch for you. You'll go around, at least in the shuls, and you'll collect Achnos' kala. So the guy said, no, that also I don't want to do. He said, I'm not made for this. I'm not built for that. It's not my type. Very common. So he said, where are you going to pay from? He said, I already told you. Hashem's going to help. So Hashem said, if so... Go to the yeshiva across the street from my house. There's yeshiva there. Go to the menayal. And tell the menayal that he should give you a list of a number of 
wealthy donors from Chutz Laaretz and tell them that I told you to ask him, <coughs> then maybe I'll give you. And you want to get some addresses, and you're going to send them letters. Maybe that'll be something to help you. No, that guy said, not a mask. You went to the Manal of the Yeshiva, that's an office. That's to tell him, you know, Rabbi Asher told me to. That's okay. Took out his Rolodex. Starts looking in the Rolodex, picking out names. So I don't need a lot of names. Just give me one name, that's enough. <laughs> one name's enough. No. So the guy said, maybe he won't respond to you. He said, ah, Hashem, 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 Yazar, Hashem's going to help. No, the guy said, okay, you, you want that. He wrote a little piece of paper, a name with an address, and he, this guy used to give the yeshiva every month $10. Big donor. You know, he wasn't giving him the $1,000 donor, he gave him the $10 donor. No, two weeks goes by, and the guy gets a check one day in the mail, $30,000. Anybody who had a sheikh to this parsha and knew about this, found out about this, and they went crazy from the Ashkach Hashem. But that's not the end of the story. The next time the Menile went to go collect money for the yeshiva, he decided uh, this guy is an ATM machine. He produced ten dollars for me. What kind of him called? He went to he went to visit the guy, and he told him maybe you could raise your monthly donation. To the surprise, the guy said, "I'm sorry. The most I can give is ten dollars a month." He said, "I thought you became wealthy." Didn't you give a certain family $30,000? So the guy said, oh, let me tell you the story behind that donation. For many years, we didn't have kids. Five years ago, we had our only child, a daughter. We were mamish in seventh heaven. But the Shnei Sabracha didn't last long. And one day we found out that our young daughter has a terrible machla, that there's no cure for it. We went from one doctor to into the next doctor until we came to a big mumcha. He told us a new type of treatment. <clears throat> that Shabbos, before we started the treatment, I, when they opened the oren, I went to the Aaron and I said, Bernishlam, send my daughter a full shleima, and we should be zeichet to legadla and to marry her off. And I'm aftiach to support a poor family to help them marry off their daughter. And then we began the tipul. No, a couple of months it goes by, and eventually I get this letter in the mail. I get two letters in one day. In one letter was a, do- a letter from the doctor about all the tests that he ran after the treatment. And he told us that the girl, your daughter, seems to have beaten the machla. And in the second letter was a letter from a, some Avreich in Yerushalayim with a whole written out letter to help him marry his daughter off. No. On the, ma- on the spot, I called my bank manager and I said, how much do I have in my savings right now? And to the shack, he said, $30,000. I, I ran to the bank, I pulled the money out on the spot, and I sent it to that mishpach. Yeah, everybody say. hear that? It's unbelievable. Enjoyed this story? Come again, bring a friend, storiestoinspire.org.